Hello boys and girls, I'm over at the Whit Road Water Crossings. This is probably the most controversial area of the whole Smoky Mountain 500. And this is either which way you're going, either the first creek or the last creek uh, on Whit Road. A lot of people went down here. There's a lot of several different options. I'm going to show you all of them. You notice behind me the water is way down low. So this is the best time of year to figure out which way you want to go. Let's take a look at this. This is the line most people want to take. This is the upstream line. It looks smooth when you're riding because of all those ridges that are running the way they are. And you see how dry it is. All those are exposed. A lot of times they're not, or most of the times they're not. Let me step off down in here. I got my flip-flops on and my shocks. Right now, I'm knee deep in water. And then there's a ledge right here. So if you come into this and bump that ledge because you can't see it, it's going to kick you and you maybe go down. A lot of loose rock right in there. That may take you down. So this is deep. And it's, it's going to be above my knees whenever the water's up. Especially if it's raining or been raining. So this, this is not the way I would want to cross. I've never tried it. I've seen people crossing it. And I've seen people drown out. I've seen people fall in a hydro lot. Here's the other line. This is all just rough. And these are, this right here is pretty good until you get out, out there. And then the rock wants to turn. And when this is like it is, this can be slick. I'm being careful. I don't want to fall on this. But this, this can be really slick. So this, this is not a preferred line choice if it's me. Now this is all running, be running counterclockwise. So there's the first line. This is another line. And this is another line over here. This is the one I've started taking myself. It's a little deeper than this, but it's not as rigid. The ridges are not as high. There are some ridges. You can see them. And it's a little deeper, but it's smoother. So I think this is the line I took the last time. I've, I've taken this across this many times. I've not fallen, but every time I cross, I think, well, this could be the day. This could be a good line too. You can see some ridges right here. You can come, probably break, come back over here. Let's pop up. Coming clockwise, come far to your right, and then straight across. There's a rock or two there, but and there's some rocks here. And it's a little deeper for a spot. Uh, that's pretty rocky. I don't know. Maybe that's not the way I took the last time. There's a big ledge right there. I'm saying probably the best spot is right here where those high ridges are. Just to the right or left of those. I don't even want to walk on these ridges at these flip-flops on. So that's that's the preferred line. That you can see how rough that is. Now you can paddle foot across that. Still rough and I've still seen people fall. There's a hole right here. make your choice but that's not the good line that's deep this would be your line I would say in my opinion is right there 
that's the line I would say if you look over here how deep this is and look at the rock in it see all those rocks and that rock over on the side there so no no that's a no no here's your best choice so one two three four you can see four ridges right there that line right there on the downstream side that's the that's the good choice i would think